everyone, my name is Cassie Wardlow, and today I'll be talking about my capstone, which was the graphic identity and storytelling for Bebop Acres. <clears throat> my advisor was Bobby Long, and my client was the wonderful Tyler Steer. So the problem was that um, Peacock Acres wasn't very well known in the community. You're probably thinking, Cassie, what is Peacock Acres? Are they a Peacock petting zoo? But no, they aren't. They actually <laughs> help foster kids in the community through their fundraising programs. And um, from housing to teaching. And I wanted a way to share their stories from these amazing kids who have changed their lives. And I thought how I would do that. And then also to rebrand their company because their old logo was a little outdated and in the past. So this is where I came in. I um, designed, I wanted to create a way for them to share these amazing stories and also make them look good too. So I started with a logo first and um, I researched other companies who use Peacocks in their business and I looked at other foster organizations to see what they did and then I did went to sketches and designed four different logos for them to choose from and with matching stationery which are these and they ended up choosing this one which also happened to be my favorite. Um, so those were the different ones. So back to this. So next was a 16 page booklet that focused on five stories of five boys who went through their programs and how Peacock Acres has really changed their lives. Um, the booklet includes information about Peacock Acres, information about the programs, and just little <coughs> fun facts about each program. Next, I wanted to make that interactive. And so I took those same stories and I coded them into a website to make it more fun to learn about these and also read the full stories about these programs. If you want to check out my website, you can go to peacockacres.org slash stories. <coughs> Um, so the tools I used to create this was the incredible Adobe Suite, um, Creative Suite. I used Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign for all of my print materials and photo editing. And then I used Dreamweaver, HTML, CSS, and jQuery to code the entire website I made. So what I learned in this project was really how to manage my time and to make sure I met, met my weekly deadlines to finish this project on time since it was such a huge project. And I also learned how to accept critique because sometimes it's hard to accept critique even though it's for the best. And I also learned a new coding language and improved my already mediocre coding skills. <laughs> um, so thank you for listening. I'd like to thank my parents and my friends for supporting me through this whole year. And for Tyler Steer for being the best client in the world. I couldn't have done it without you. And if you would like to learn more about my project, come to Room 156 and learn some great stories about some foster youth. Thank you. <laughs>